Go to the sister route. I got a few things to uh, say, more or less, in this video blog. Let me just get past my email first. Just, but, yeah, just mark it as red, because it's not really important right now. The most important thing is, immediately, right now, are a few things. One, I'm not using that wide action webcam. I'm using, because of a new kernel update and that, this thing finally works, but it does not work on the default profile. And I'm not going to change it mid-video because it will freeze and lock up the entire thing. I'm not using this thing right now. I did use it in the previous video, the SJ cam. Nifty little thing. Wide-angled. Awesome. So, uh... I am using this little camera. I meant to get for my PVR security system, but apparently it didn't fit the socket, which it was supposed to fit in. No, that the wide angle is too fucking wide, too. Notice that? It's got to be, you know, much narrower. It's got to be this narrower and closer in. But whatever. I'm going to order another one. It should fucking fit in the slot. It's only about $32, but whatever. It'll fit. It'll work. That's all I care about. Anyways, uh, this latest kernel update now allows it to actually work in high definition, 1280 by 720, but look at it, look, awesome, re glorified resolution, this is pointed at, yeah, 5120 by 2880, okay, that's, that's not what I was mentioning, but good thing is this camera now works in high definition, thank goodness, I thought it was just a cheapo shit ass uh, rebranding of a Vega camera, but no, this actually is high, high HD, so I'm happy. That's good. It's just uh, it, there's a bit of a defect in the corner. If you notice the corners on the top edges, it's not perfect, but whatever. I don't care. Uh, the drive I normally have Windows on, well, it's a a big fucking disappointment because you know what happens it stopped working I replaced it with a 250 gigabyte hard drive because that's really all I had from a pulled dead computers that work just fine I donate the machines sometimes I keep the RAM in it sometimes I don't because you know RAM's cheap or sometimes I include it in it I don't know because I don't care it's my decision and, uh, yeah, and also DVR units. Bell or Rogers, yeah. Idiots that throw them out. Don't think they can take the drive out. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, yeah, that's what's currently in my system now, and I got Windows 10 finally set up. Obviously, the version I used since the last known copy you can create online. 6.5.8 It's now updated to 6.6.3 so no big deal. It's set up So uh, That drive I am gonna power it on and It's gonna keep shutting off and it's inside this enclosure That's the drive One terabyte Seagate, you know the drill I just can't believe it actually wasn't working. Oh, I'm holding it upside down, but you know, it's one terabyte. But problem with this drive, kept shutting off when uh, I wanted to use Windows for a game. Yes. Sometimes you have to have a working copy of Windows specific for stupid shit. Pretty but pointless shit because I don't even use it too much often. Hence why once a month, I check and see if I get it updated in that. And I gotta do it all the lag. That's associated with Windows. No. Regardless of the fact my machine is about 11 years old now, has nothing to do with uh, being slow. The machine is quad core 2.7 gigahertz. It has 24 gigabytes of RAM. I could put 32 in, but I didn't want to pony up that much cash to put it, because, you know. I got most of the RAM second hand and it's fine. Regardless, that's not even relevant. It handles up to the it handles Windows latest. Now, 
You're about to hear this drive. I don't think you can hear it in here, but I'm going to put it up to the microphone. It may get real loud, but hey, I'm not responsible for that shit. Or the sound you just heard anyway. Here we go. You're going to hear this. When it soothes the operating system detects it, it's going to shut off and it's going to repeat. There we go. Okay. That's... That's funny, it's not turning on. Well, the drive basically failed inside the system and I took it out. Oh, dummy me, I forgot to plug in the web, forgot to plug in the cable. The thing will not turn on without the cable being plugged in. That was funny. And not the first time I've done this. Anyways, had to replace a drive, had to clean, saw an operating system, and this little camera works. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so a uh, bit of an interruption there. I'm going to now turn on the drive and you're going to basically hear it. And this keeps happening every single time it powers on too. There, it turns off again. This is what you're basically be hearing every single time. Yep. That's what kept happening. And that's why my that's why I kept experience freezing issues when I was uh using Windows. Well, Windows would blue screen immediately upon the volume shutting off. <laughs> And in the terms of Linux, when I'm using it, obviously every single day of the year, it, uh, when I was managing partitions on other drives, Gparted kept flicking a whole bunch of errors at me. And I kept trying to figure out what the fuck is going on with this. And it was because of the drive. I kept shutting off and turning back on again. And then... It wasn't showing up in the BIOS. You know, the setup utility. And that was a problem. I was wondering why it wasn't shutting up, why it wasn't showing up. So now I know why. Drive is dead. Firmware's clocked. So this is how to get this video out there. It sucks. Yeah, it, it sucks. But drives don't last forever. So, I don't care. It's just a drive. Would you care? Nope. And undoubtedly, it was actually causing like this video because the operating system was constantly trying to detect it. And now it's back to normal, which is weird. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to share the video. Yeah, that's it. And the music you hear in the background, that's CIUT. And whichever radio show was happening at the time. Cheers.